Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Autographs 2000 here. And in this episode, we've got three autographs through the mail, TTMs. And we're going to also open our last two packs of 2022 Tops Update. Um, as always, we will start with a TTM. The first one is from Bravo, Utah. We have got Vance Law. He signed one of one in 12 days. He had a career batting average of 256 with 71 home runs, 442 RBIs. He played 11 years, appeared in 1,212 games. He played from 80 to 91. He played with Pittsburgh, White Sox, Expos, Cubs, and A's. He was an all-star in 88, which was also his best season. In that season, he went or he hit 11 home runs, knocked in 78, and batted 293. That is Vance Law. All right, next up, we're going to open up our first pack of top update here. Again, these are my last two packs. So hopefully, we got something good in these packs. We have Jake McGee, Julio Rodriguez, Tops, our rookie debut. There's a good one. Put him up there. We have Rob Refschneider, Jerickson Profar. We have a Wander rookie debut. All right. We're off to a pretty good start with this pack. Next up, we have Javier Baez, Reese McGuire, uh, Mr. Diaz, Cjack. We have Richie Palacios, Chris Paddock, Nick Allen, Sergio Alcantara, and a Royce Clayton Stars of MLB. So not a bad pack at all right there. All right, our next return is from Indianapolis, Indiana. And we have got Bill Sampin. He signed three of three in nine days. He had a career record of 25 and 21 with a 3.73 ERA. He played five years, appeared in 182 games. He played from 90 to 94. He played with Montreal, Kansas City, and California. His best year was his rookie year, which was 1990, when he went 12 and seven with a 2.99 ERA. Um, his next year, he went nine and five with a 4.00 ERA. So his first two years, he had 21 wins, and then the rest of the way, he had four. He had four wins his last three years. So he was off to a promising career, and he kind of fell off. All right, we're going to open up our last pack of 2022, which is the fat one. So we got a helmet card in here. We're going to start off with a Ryan Mountcastle Stars of MLB. There's a good start. Let me flip this around so the one card will be last. So our helmet is last. We'll hold that to the end. We have Josh Rojas, Cole Irvin, Luke Williams, Corey Seager. We got the Dustin May, Sam Hilliard, Rugnet Ordur, Mr. Ramos, Drew Steckenrider, Alex Fiedo, Arcia. We got a Suzuki in blue. That's a nice one. Pretty 
pretty nice Suzuki there. We got a sweet Mount Castle. We have a Mariano Rivera 87. And our helmet card is CJ Abrams Rookie. That one's pretty nice looking. CJ Abrams. Hopefully he'll be a star. I think he will be. All right, and our last returns from Denver, Colorado. It is a football return. We have got Steve Atwater, the smiling assassin. He signed one of two in 49 days. He was an eight-time pro bowler. He was a free safety, he played 11 years. He appeared in 167 games. He played from 89 to 99. He played with Denver and the Jets. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2020. He is in the Broncos Ring of Fame. During his career, he had 1,180 tackles, 24 interceptions, and he scored one touchdown. Now, when I think of Steve Atwater, <clears throat> I immediately think of that hit he laid on Christian Nicoya. Christian Okoye, the Nigerian nightmare, was running over people left and right. And then there was one game where the Chiefs played the, the Broncos. Christian Okoye came out the middle. Atwater laid a smack on him, and Christian Okoye went backwards. And I don't think Christian Okoye was ever the same after that. I really don't. Um, you'll have to search for Steve Atwater and it'll probably be the first thing that pops up. It was pretty sweet, pretty pretty sweet hit he put on Christian Okoya. Christian Okoya's knees buckled and he just went backwards and that was that. And um, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, as always, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button. If you've not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.